Yes, you guys, I am back with another Pro Clubs video. I'm gonna help you guys become better finishers in this game, and hopefully, by the end of the video, you guys will be scoring goals like Prime R9. And I made this video mainly because you lots got me 100 likes on how to dribble on Pro Clubs, and I think I uploaded it a month ago. I'm not too sure, but you lots really enjoyed that video. So, here I am to help you guys become better finishers. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get 100 likes in the video too. And if you guys get me 100 likes in the video, I'll be showing you guys another tutorial video or tip video. And for those who want the link on how to dribble on pro clubs, I'll leave it down below in the description. So check it out if you haven't done so already. I'm telling you guys, as soon as you finish watching that video, you guys will turn into Messi, guaranteed. Anyways, we're gonna get straight to the video. We're gonna start the attribute. So guys, attributes are very important. They're a very important factor if you guys want to be better finishers. So I'm gonna show you the important attributes I would say um, would help you, you know, improve your finishing and scoring more goals. Now for the first attribute, it's definitely finishing. Finishing is probably the most important attribute if you guys want to be better goal scorers. Now, having good finishing doesn't instantly make you a better finisher. The higher the finishing, the more, I would say, accurate. So, for example, let's say you aim, for example, your shot at the corner. The higher the finishing, the higher the chance the ball will go to the corner. However, the lower the finishing, the ball will go rosette, literally. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating when it comes to rosette, but it's definitely not going to the corner. I can guarantee you that. However, having good finishing is definitely, you know, a good stepping stone to improving your finishing. But I'll get to, you know, you improving your finishing yourself in a bit. But, you know, you need a good build, 100%. So anyways, the second attribute is definitely volleys. If you guys, you know, get put in a situation where, you know, the ball is in the air and you guys have very bad volleys, the ball is going raw Z. Now, I can guarantee... It is going row Z because it has happened to me with bad volleys. Uh, obviously, you know, I had maybe 83 volleys or 80 volleys. But sometimes you could take a touch, you know, when, you know, you receive the ball in the air and then maybe score the goal, uh, maybe with a finish. But usually in different situations, maybe you're getting pressed. I don't know, maybe three people are on you. And if you take the touch, then you're just going to get murdered. So sometimes you just need to whack it top bins and that's why you need at least plus 90 volleys in my opinion and also plus 90 finishing. Also guys, finishing and volleys work in conjunction, they work together because if you think about it guys, let's say you know when you're inside the box the finishing gets activated so let's say you take a shot from inside the box. That's when finishing is going to be important. But let's say the ball is in the air. Because you are inside the box and because the ball is in the air, the volleys and finishing are both going to be very important for the situation. So make sure, you know, both attributes are, you know, good. For example, you can't be lacking in both attributes. That's not how, you know, FIFA designed the game. Also, if you're outside the box, then long shots and volleys would be needed instead. So it's basically a switch between long shots and finishing based on, you know, whether you're inside the box or outside the box. So if you guys want to score volleys inside the box, you're going to need finishing and volleys. And if you guys want to score outside the box, you're going to need volleys and long shots. Simple as that. So now for long shots, it's basically the same thing when it comes to finishing, but you know, just the difference is that it's when you're outside the box, simple as that. So basically the higher the long shots, the more accurate your shots are when you're outside the box. However, you guys can have 99 long shots and still not score long shots. That's not how the game works. Obviously, you know, it makes your shots more accurate, but it's about aiming your shots. So don't worry guys, I'll get to that in a bit. Now for shot power, Shot power is very strange to me, I'll explain why, because I don't really see shot power being important. In the last FIFAs, you know, such as FIFA 22, 21 and even 20, I was always rocking with shot power around 76 to maybe 72 and I was still, you know, scoring goals the left, right, center, I was scoring long shots, I was scoring, you know, goals from inside the box. I had zero issues with my scoring abilities so but this FIFA they actually gave us way more shot power don't get me wrong it's probably sort of important but it's not as important as long shots volleys or finishing in my opinion those are you know another tier by themselves 
uh, shot power, I would say it's like a bonus. It, it isn't really something I would say would improve your ability to score goals because you can score goals without shot power. But if you guys want to have maybe powerful shots, then go for it. Also, shot power could be helpful. For example, if you guys want to be scoring free kicks of knuckleballs maybe because to do a knuckleball, you do need shot power. And also, it gives you more powerful free kicks too, the higher the shot power. And it could come in handy with long shots maybe if you guys want to do power shots. But in general, it's like a bonus. It isn't really an attribute I would say is critical to being a better goal scorer. Now, another attribute is heading accuracy. This is probably potentially the most important attribute and also the least important attribute so if you guys are using a six foot five build that has very good jumping good strength it's good in the air basically then heading accuracy is probably the most important because i've had builds where you know i was six foot maybe four and i had very good jumping and heading accuracy and half my goals were from headers so that's why it's probably the most important in that situation however guys if you are five feet four and you are literally not able to jump at all then it's probably the least important and you shouldn't really work on you know heading accuracy at all also heading accuracy works very similar to finishing all you have to do is aim it correctly and if you guys aim the headers correctly you guys will be scoring goals left right with headers especially in corners now for weak foot i would say it's probably the second most important thing if you guys want to be better goal scorers it's definitely finishing then weak foot because weak foot allows you to score goals with your weak foot or weak side for example now i don't know too much on how it works and you know its mechanisms but basically it's something where it's a percentage system so let's say you have a five star weak foot you basically have a hundred percent if you guys have four star weak foot i think it's 80 percent so i think you're finishing and you know whatever etc etc will get you know a bit lower to that 80 percent basically i think that's how it works do correct me if i'm wrong obviously so guys make sure to get that five star weak foot it is crucial trust me guys you don't want to miss shots in crucial parts of the game let's say it's 4-4 and your goal can decide the game and make you guys you know obviously win then you know that weak foot is important you're gonna need it you don't want to miss chances trust me also you need to be unpredictable you can't keep going to your strong side to shoot or something like that you need to also go to your weak side too a player that can go to two sides rather than one side is a better player so definitely get that faster weak foot now the shooting is done we're gonna go to the passing section for the curve curve is probably sort of important it depends on your play style as well it's very similar to heading accuracy as i explained before basically guys if you do love finesse shotting all the time or doing finesse shots then curve is very important because it actually increases the bend and swerve of the ball when you're shooting this attribute is only for guys that love to do finesse shots but if you're a guy that doesn't do finesse shots at all then this attribute is actually useless for you now the last attribute i'd say is very important for shooting and that's reactions now i'm not too sure do correct me but maybe i'm wrong i'm not too sure but basically reactions improves your you know reaction speed so if you guys want to be more responsive you know for example let's say you're 1v1 versus the keeper if your guy has zero reactions and he's very slow then obviously the keeper would probably you know get the ball or save it for me personally it works but i'm not too sure if it's 100 percent like because of reactions it could be something else but for me when i have very good reactions my player feels very responsive especially when i'm in you know for example scoring opportunities or situations now the attributes are done for the perks there are a few perks which are vital especially to improving your shooting the first one has to be the poacher this is probably the most important perk for a striker or you know any position where you're in front of the goal all the time and you need to score that goal it basically gets activated every time you're in front of the goal or inside the box and you know attributes such as finishing volleys if the ball is in the air these attributes would definitely improve and you know get boosted every time you know the ball is in the box whether it's in the air or on the ground another really really good perk you need to get it depends actually if you love to take long shots then this is a perk you have to get and that is distance shooter it basically does the same thing as the poacher however the only difference is that it only applies outside the box so 
So attributes such as long shots, finishing, maybe shot power. I'm not too sure about the shot power. They will get boosted. And it also comes with 5 star weak foot. So let's say guys you have 3 star weak foot in your build. Every single time you take a long shot from outside the box with your weak foot. It will turn to 5 star automatically. So that is kind of overpowered. Now perks such as quick reply and hot streak and even clutch finisher. They're okay, I wouldn't really use these perks because there is the poach and distant shooter. Those are two overpowered perks which are far better in my opinion. Another I would say very good perk is definitely first time shot. Every single time you shoot first time, let's say someone lays you off, that is going in the net. I've actually used this perk before. It is overpowered, you should definitely give it a go. It's definitely I would say third best shooting perk in the game or pro clubs. Now set piece beacon is a perk based on your playstyle. If you guys are a very tall player that can actually you know win headers from jumping or something like that, then this perk is very important. But if you guys are a 5 feet 4 gnome, then definitely don't get this perk. Now I'm done talking about the perks, another way you can instantly improve your finishing and that has to be skill games. So guys, go to the practice scenarios and then you'll see something called a novice attacking scenario, select it. Now what you guys are going to keep on doing is just practicing hitting the corners every time you get close to the goal. So as you lots can see, I started the novice attacking scenarios and all I'm doing is doing a skill move and getting close to the goal and hitting top corner or low corner and if you keep on doing the same thing over and over again it will eventually become second nature and it's all about muscle memory so the more you do it the better your finishing will be and try to change up your movement don't always do the same thing try change it up so instead of you know going to you know the corner maybe do near post or you can just do a cut in and finesse shot. There's so many scenarios, just keep on doing it and your finishing will be like Prime Ronaldo. Now for finesse shots, they've actually been nerfed a little bit. Like last year, I could score a lot of finesse shots. But don't get me wrong, they're still overpowered this year. Especially if you have the right perks and the right attributes, a lot of them is going to be going in the net. Now what you guys can do in the you know novice attacking scenarios is practicing cutting inside and finesse shotting. That's how I improved my finesse shots this year. And also every time you take shots, you'll understand how much power to put in your finesse shots. It's all muscle memory. The more shooting you do, the more it'll become second nature. Now for power shots, it's a new feature in the game in this FIFA. And in my opinion, I feel personally it's very unnecessary. You guys don't need to waste your time doing power shots because you have to wait like 3-4 seconds before you shoot the ball and in that time someone's just gonna clamp you. Unless you lots have a lot of space, it's pointless. The same thing can apply to shooting outside the box normally just by holding circle. It doesn't work anymore, it's not the old FIFAs, they've actually nerfed that type of way of shooting. I've seen some people hit the ball from different weird angles and it actually goes in but it's very hard to master and I don't see a lot of people doing it all the time so it's also pointless in my opinion. Anyways I am done showing you guys tips on how to become a better finisher on pro clubs. Hopefully you lots have subscribed to my channel if you're new here and definitely smash a like button I'm trying to get more than 100 likes in the video and yeah guys see you lots next time bye.